Okay, guys, I've had it for a while. Let's talk about it. Brass tags. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Brass Tax, and this bitch. You already know. Don't act like you didn't, because I know you did. I've been playing around with this for the last few days, and I'm going to get into the good and the bad. Of it. This system is unquestionably to me the best handheld, most powerful, true console experience on a handheld system. Another plus is Nintendo. Let's not pretend that Nintendo don't make amazing, fun games. It's innovative. You can play it as a console, you can play it with friends, you can play it a number of different ways. 720p for a, a console-like experience on a handheld makes total sense to me. Even though it's a 6.1 inch screen, you're gonna look at the screen and say it's beautiful. The user interface is streamlined like a mofo. Seriously, it's very neat. You know exactly where everything is. It's easy to navigate. It's got a nice minimalistic design. It's fun. I took this out with my brother today, played a game on it, a two player game. I think it was some RMX racing. Detach these bad boys. I was a little concerned because Joy-Cons are pretty small. I wonder whether I'm gonna have a problem using it. And I had no problems whatsoever. And the small screen as well, when it's upright, you really don't feel like you have to squint to look at it. It's pretty clear picture. I love that it's got expandable storage right here. Right now I've got 128 gig on that bitch. It actually feels like an expensive piece of kit. It feels like a premium system. And the other thing is, these Joy-Cons, the rumble effects, as small as they are, very, very impressive. It's pricey as a motherfucker. Let's not fuck around. That is... £279.99 for this is too much. It comes with 32 gigabyte storage. It's really 25, 26 when you take away the OS, but it's promoted as a console. So that's a bad move by Nintendo. People were complaining about that with the Wii U and they seem to have followed through on this one as well. I did say that the graphics looked very, very nice on the handheld. When you dock this bitch and start playing on the big screen, you realize that is 1080p and not necessarily a good 1080p. It looks a little better on the TV, but it plays a lot more smoothly on the handheld. I don't understand that. The operating system, slick as it is, doesn't do shit. I stick the micro SD card in that bitch. There is no way for me to transfer the games from one place to another place. So I had to re-download those bitches. Unless there is a way and I just don't know, it is not simple at all. There's no media player, there are no apps. I figured there'd be a YouTube or something. You know, like the Wii U has. When you're playing console games such as Zelda, the shit lasts two and a half hours. Two and a half hours is not good at all. There's not really a lot to choose from in launch. There's a handful of games, even in the Japanese store. There's not that many games at the time of me reviewing this. Nintendo's whole philosophy is, well, we don't want to give you everything at once, we want to spread that shit out. And I understand that, but other consoles previously gave you three, four, five games and still had regular releases after that point. So what you're saying to me really is, you don't have a lot of games right now. This console, like I said, is £280 and it does not ship with any games. You would think that the Nintendo eStore, or whatever the fuck it is, would have plenty of demos for you to try out. Nope, I saw one in that bitch. I was like, what the hell? Don't get me started on the add a friend bullshit. You gotta send a code and shit. You can't do online chat. God damn. This is what's so frustrating because the operating system may be simple, but it's not simple to do simple things. And right now you can't even send messages or anything. Now I know, I know they're bringing all of this in and I appreciate that, but here's the problem. I just spent two seven nine ninety nine on a console that really should have had the basics at launch. Let me just take this off. I've got these two. I'm giving one to my friend. I'm keeping one. We're going to play. We're going to switch this bad boy on. But we only got about 25% left. Let's charge this bitch. Sounds like a plan, right? You got the cable. You can plug it in. And you can charge it. That's not a problem at all. Here is the problem. You see that shit? The USB-C charger is at the bottom of the screen. So how the fuck does that work? So it's coming to the end. We're playing. My boy winning. I ain't gonna let him win. There's about 10% left on this bitch. We need to charge this bitch because we need to finish the game in this bitch. But guess what? How can we do it? We can't do it. It's at the bottom of this bitch. Huge oversight by Nintendo. <laughs> I know it sounds like I've bashed this console, but for the price tag, 
it should have a lot more going for it right now than it does. It's like they advertise portability. They don't let you really be portable because even when you're using your Joy-Con controllers, the adapter that comes with it, that little controller, it doesn't let you charge it whilst you're playing. So it's not really emphasizing portability at all. Every time they take a step forward, they keep doing something to push them five steps back. Now, do I recommend this? That's the question. This is an awesome, awesome console, but I can't recommend it right now. I would probably wait till about later this year where you've got a whole batch of games coming out where they've had a chance to perfect the system and add nice little features that really take advantage of what they're selling here that's my thoughts on it people i hope you i hope you appreciate this review if you like it hit the like button if not hit the dislike button it makes no difference but definitely subscribe if you haven't already and i'm gonna catch you guys soon